Frank Boring has been reviewing years' worth of archival footage of CSU, dating all the way back to the early 1900s. The footage is kept on a wide range of reels and tapes, and recently, Frank found a very enticing tape. And it was in the one-inch tapes that had labels on them that we discovered one simple name, Warhol. The tape contained footage of Warhol's visit to CSU, and soon after its discovery, Frank was approached by Lynn Bolin, the art museum's curator, as well as Francisco Leal, who wanted to create an event held in both English and Spanish that focused on Warhol. La idea de este de sábado Warhol de invitar a personas de la comunidad a disfrutar el arte, disfrutar diferentes tipos de arte, es en realidad un proyecto que empezamos de, pensamos desarrollar en el futuro. Ojalá con otros artistas que puedan también atraer a la comunidad a este museo. The event featured many Warhol originals from the museum's collection, with descriptions in both Spanish and English, as well as exclusive footage of Warhol's visit to CSU. There were also guided tours of the collection in both languages. Dr. Leal says Warhol was the perfect subject for this sort of event. El arte de Andy Warhol es reconocible en todo el mundo, pero este museo también tiene piezas de arte nativo americano, de arte europeo, de arte africano. Entonces, ¿qué mejor lugar que el museo con todo este arte universal para celebrar uno de los artistas más universales y la colección que tiene el museo de su arte? Sabado Warhol drew a large crowd, and Frank says he's glad it could be held in two different languages. I'm very much a believer that you shouldn't limit uh, in categories, um, well, we're going to try to reach the Asian population. Let's do an Asian show. You know, this is a university. We can we can show cool things that anybody that of any group of people could be interested in. I mean, art reaches across all the horizons. Matt Leisman, CTV Eleven.